Learning Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 1813, Jordan Goldmeyer, The Rollover Method. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jelen. This is awesome. Here in the studio, we have the newest Excel MVP, Joel, Jordan Goldmeyer, and he has some awesome things to show. Jordan, have a seat. Hey, Bill. Yeah, Jordan. What does the Excel developer put in their hair in the morning? Uh, I don't know. What? Some product. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Put a laugh track in there. <laughs> That's awesome. Already, already this podcast, this episode of the Mr. Excel podcast is funnier than the other 1,812 that we've done. <laughs> That's good. Well, uh, thanks, Bill, for uh, having me on. I'm just going to do uh, some real quick information about myself. As Bill showed on the cover, I'm writing a book, Dashboards for Excel. It's probably going to change its name a few more times. Uh, I was thinking uh, 50 Shades of Excel, like that. That would be a great title. <laughs> See, look, I got another joke in. That's good. That's um, good. And I also just want to do real quick about me. Um, I work for a company in Dayton, Ohio, the Perduco Group. That's P-E-R-D-U-C-O, and we do uh, uh, data analytics healthcare and we're really excited we're doing some new sports analytics so we've actually been working with some sports team uh, doing scout scheduling and ranking uh, players evaluation stuff like that so if you're interested in any of that uh, it's uh, www.theperducogroup.com <laughs> Alright so what do, you, what do you have today? Tell so today we're going to talk about uh, what I like to call the rollover method there's really no official name for it um, it's something that I sort of discovered one dark and stormy night but what it essentially allows you to do is um, execute a macro when your uh, mouse is hovering over a cell. So, for example, I made this periodic table of elements, and as you can see, when I roll my mouse over these different cells, um, information changes about uh, the different elements, and I can actually go over here on this uh, periodic table, and I can click, and I can roll over, and you see that the different ele element groups are being highlighted. So I can actually roll over, I can select them all if I want, just to give you a demonstration. And by the way, this is all uh, downloadable. Uh, we'll provide the link. So we're going to uh, talk about how to do that. And at the heart of this, um, this uh, mechanism is this hyperlink formula up here. So I'm going to start a new sheet, and I'm going to show you how this is done. Now, what's really interesting about this is that it actually violates one of the rules in Excel. So I'm going to teach you how to break one of the rules. Don't tell Microsoft. Um, but the main rule is that uh, user-defined functions are not allowed to change the values of other cells. So this has been the common thinking. In fact, it, as far as I can tell, it's appeared in every VBA book I've looked at, and we're going to violate it. So, so the first thing I'm going to do is open up the Visual Basic Editor, and I'm going to create a new module. And now I'm going to create a new public uh, user-defined function. If you've ever done this before, syntax is pretty simple. I'm going to call this one my rollover. So what I'm going to do in this is I'm going to demonstrate how we can violate the rules. And let's see here. We were on sheet one, so I'm going to make this very easy. I'm going to say sheet one dot range. I'm going to put A1 in here. And I'm going to set the value to rule broken. So now I'm going to go back to our spreadsheet and I'm going to type in the formula that allows us to do this. So remember that hyperlink formula? We're going to type in hyperlink. And now here's the trick. I'm, here I'm going to type my rollover. So I'll, instead of providing an address, a cell address, a web address, I'm actually going to provide the UDF to it. So for now we're going to leave the friendly name blank. I'm going to hit enter over here. As you can see, when I rolled my mouse over, and I'll just delete it here just so we can see it again. When I roll my mouse over, it says rule broken. So now we've actually violated a rule. And in fact, Excel sort of has recognized that we violated that rule because it gave us this value error. And this is what it does when there's an error. So the question is, how do I get rid of that pesky error? And the way to do that is to put this if error around it. So if I put this if error around it, and I've Found, I don't know if this is necessary necessary to put um, the same thing that you would put in the if error in the friendly text, but I'm going to do that just to just to keep things consistent. Hit 
hit enter. We'll resize this. As you can see, it works without, without resulting in an error. So let's put this to good use. So let's uh, use this in a real example. So I've created a new sheet, sheet three. And what I'm going to show you how to do is sort of create a rollover on your own that's going to pick up, um, that's going, that you can uh, use and show different graphs. So we're going to take something that was theoretically, cool, we broke the rules. Now how can we use breaking the rules to our advantage? So um, the way we're going to, uh, the way I've done this here is I've, you see my mouse is over north. Um, it's showing north. As I put it over south, east, west, it updates. So right away you'll notice that um, when my mouse is over west, over this blank spot, uh, nothing's really happening. So I can well, I can really show you in east, or if I put it in south, nothing's happening. So what I'll do is if you put word wrap on, that will actually fix that. I don't know why it fixes that. It's kind of a weird discovery on my part. Um, but it does fix that. So here's how this mechanism works. Um, when I click on north, you see that I have this my rollover and it's putting the word north in. So it's actually taking what's supposed to be there and it's going to send it to the UDF. So over here you also see that we have this table and then I have this graph here it's linked to sort of our current selection. So as this cell here changes it's going to do an H lookup on our table over here and it's going to deposit it here and then our chart is linked here. So how do we get this cell to change. And the way we do that is it's in our rollover method. So I've actually named this cell current region. And when I do my rollover, I use this shorthand, these brackets. So I say current region equals region, which is the string passed in. And as you could see from here, we're actually passing in that string. So basically, you pass in the string. It tells it which, um, which uh, item to look up, that look up is deposited and that informs the chart. So that's actually that basic mechanism is how I was able to create that periodic table. And in fact, we can, uh, you can do all sorts of things with this. You can um, do conditional formatting. So when your mouse hovers over it, um, it will change color. Uh, there's all sorts of things to do. Okay, so that is a radically cool method. And when you, when Jordan uh, sent this to a few of the other MVPs, I don't think anyone had ever seen anything like this. A uh, great way to break the rules in a very useful and uh, clever, clever way. All right, so again, your book, Dashboards for Excel, that's coming out when? Uh, hopefully February. That's, February of that's, 2014. That's, that's the, the goal. Yep. You can go out to Amazon right now and pre-order it, so check that out. And also, your website is? The Perduco Group com. Perduco. Uh, and just in case you're wondering, because everyone always asks us that, it means to deliver. So it's a Latin, a Latin word, and we're trying to make a clever name about what we do. So clever for all of the people who have taken Latin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So check us out if you uh, like what we do. We have our contact information at the bottom. Uh, you know, just stay in touch. Um, follow my blog. I also have a blog, optionexplicitvba.com. All right, that was an amazing trick from Jordan. I want to thank Jordan for stopping by on his way back to Dayton, Ohio. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.